Well, greetings to all. I'm recording this from Switzerland. So I came from the United States to Switzerland and I almost forgot to do the tapping for time change because obviously I'm in a different time zone here. And usually it takes me about a week to recover from the time zone change. This time it took me a day and only because I ate too much chocolate before going to bed that kept me awake. But it's amazing how the tapping techniques work when you change time zones. So in theory, you should be doing it every time zone change. When I was coming from Las Vegas, there was nine hours difference. Now from Florida, it was six hours. And as I almost forgot it, I only started to do the tapping when I arrived over France. But it's pretty easy, even though I'm changing time zones, I can completely accept myself. You can do that or just do the timing, the tapping. Time zones change, time zones change, time zones change, time zones change, time zones change. Time zones change. I'm changing time zone, but I'm going to be okay. Oh, relax. So let's do it again. Time zones change, time zones change, time zones change. I'm changing time zones. Don't want to be tired. Oh, I'm usually tired, but not this time. Time zones change. Peace, relaxation. I'm on the right time zone. It's amazing, this silly technique. There's over 120, I believe, different types of psychotherapy. And most of them have had absolutely no research. It's about 10, 12 have had some research. And the tapping technique is one of the techniques that has had a lot of research. And yet, most people don't use it because it looks so silly to do something like that. Once you're used to doing something like that, you can just do it in your head. You don't have to do it so everybody sees what you are doing. Or you can just, you know, be like that for a while. Feel like that and rub. You don't have to do tapping. You can just do rubbing and like that. So try it when you're changing time zones or any other stress you have. The tapping techniques, they work.